All right, what's on the bench? Wow, a Nano VNA. It's been a long time since I did a video on a Nano VNA. Um, uh, this was sent into the channel for a review. I thought it would be good to uh, revisit the Nano VNA, see if there's any differences these days, um, or this is just a copy of the old guys. I don't, I, I don't know yet. Um, this is uh, the actual Sysjoint uh, Nano VNA F V3. And uh, the first thing is the box has changed, okay? The, I think it used to come in a, like a plastic box, and now it comes in this uh, little flippy box here. Um, thank you for acquiring a 6 gigahertz vector network analyzer, 6 gigahertz. Documentation can be available. Scan the code here, Sysjoint. Okay. Uh, let's piece of foam on top. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look. Uh, well, everything looks pretty normal. Um, now, the V3 is the uh, all-metal version. Uh, the one I really like. Oh, that's different. I don't remember that on the back. Talk about input-output, S11, S22, reflection. That's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, Buttons, USB-C, on and off, um, and uh, the reason that I like the metal ones is that the uh, connectors are attached to this metal uh, metal box, and so you're not going to be uh, cracking the uh, PC board by uh, uh, using the uh, using the Nano. Oh no, there we go. There's there's something very very new. Oh look at that. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Uh, so the Nano VNA, so it's, it says it's a uh, but it's uh, also labeled with Must Tool. So that's a brand name. Uh, so Must Tool, how's that attached? I don't even know how that's attached. Looks like it's painted on there. Interesting, doesn't look like a label. Looks like it's actually been uh, somehow printed on there. So, uh, but anyway, it is the V3. Uh, uh, it says Must Tool. This is from Banggood. Um, Let's see what else is in the box. The cables are different. Now these are the same same cables. You get uh, shorts and opens and loads and some adapters and stuff. Uh, the stylus has changed. Interesting. It's got the little uh, uh, soft soft button here for tapping. That's kind of nice. And then the hard stylus on this side. And it comes with the USB-C uh, charging cable. All right, let's uh, let's turn this guy on. See what he looks like. Uh, oh, that was fast. Um, let's go back and see what it said. Now I don't like the way these things wake up. They they wake up in this really super complicated display, and that's just going to turn everybody off who buys one of these things. I guess it's like, oh, look at how clever we are. Look at how fancy our machine is. Yeah, you can turn these things on and off. Um, let me figure out how to hold this so the camera glare isn't on it. Oh, I don't know. These things are impossible to get all the glare off of them. Uh, there's always lighting, lighting over my shoulder here. But uh, let's see what the menu has to say. Display, mark or cal, all the normal stuff here. Oops. Get rid of that. Oh, come on. It's going to... Oh, I hate this. Okay, there we go. TDR, config, storage, stimulus. Yeah, it goes to 6 gigahertz. Now, did my old one went go to 6 gigahertz? I don't remember. Uh, I don't really operate up there. I operate up to 3 gigahertz, but we can try this thing out. So the first thing we want to do is um, turn off these traces. See, they have them all enabled. So let's turn these guys... Turn these guys off. Yeah, there we have one trace. But I guess when you, if you had it that way, you say, well, that's boring. Uh, trace zero, format. Let's say it's a Smith chart. And uh, yeah, there we, are, there we are with an open. Let's see if this thing's calibrated. That's kind of fun. Put it on short and see if it goes over to this point over here. And no, it's not. 
yeah, we got this big, uh, big loop here. So let's go ahead and cow that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put wheels on my cal standards. That uh, makes them very, very easy to use. Uh, so if I can remember, put a link. But if I don't forget to put a link, these are these wheels. Uh, the, the these are three D printed. The print files are available on the uh, uh, PCB Waste Share site that I uh, that I have. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Uh, does it tell me how many sweep points we have? It's probably the default. To, oh, oh my goodness, it's 801 sweep points. Wow, they have upgraded the firmware. That's nice. Okay, well, good thing we were, we're reviewing one. Let's put in sweep points of uh, 1,000 and see if it does it. Uh, not 801 is the, is the biggest number. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Cal. There we go, sorry about that. All right, let's say we're done. And we get a little dot in the middle. Let's do uh, save zero. All right, we got a nice little dot in the middle. Let's go back and revisit that open. We should be over here at uh, the nine o'clock position. Oh, I mean, that's the short, I'm sorry. The open should be right where it is, and it, did, it was. And then our short should be here at the nine o'clock position. Which it isn't very good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's slow. With 800 points, I guess it's very, very slow, but yeah, that's a good calibration. I like it. All right, let's uh, put on, I don't know, put on something interesting. Let's put on attenuator. Just look at S11 on the attenuator. See, should be a little bit funny. Oh, it's pretty good. What is, what, what value is this attenuator? Yeah, it's a 20 dB. Uh, let's put on something interesting that'll be not really S11. Happy. Let's see what this is. Yeah, there we go. There's something interesting. So this is a uh, limiter. And let's put a load on the other side of it. Make it a little bit happier. Oh, there. Perfect. Um, so, um, it's very, very slow at 800 points, but it does do 800 and it's pretty smooth. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah. That's, so that's probably one of the main differences here. Config. So let's go back to, um, where was it? It was under display. It was, yeah. Sweet points. Let's do um, let's do uh, 401. And yeah, it's a little bit faster. Let's see. Let's take this off. All right. Let's take a look at the output on a uh, spectrum analyzer. All right. So my spectrum analyzer goes to 3.2 gigahertz. So let's uh, limit this thing. 3.2 gigahertz. So now we are sweeping. There we go. And let's take a look at the uh, spectrum analyzer. All right, there we go. So it's sweeping and this is sweeping, so they're not synchronized to one another, but we can um, do a max hold here and just kind of see what's, uh, what's going on. 
I sort of just want to see the output level of the uh, of the VNA, see if it's uh, see if it's pretty constant across the uh, because it uses harmonics, and so sometimes the harmonics are smaller in value. But this looks like it's pretty well keeping up. About minus twenty, about minus uh, twelve, um, about minus twelve dBm uh, coming out of the uh, coming out of the machine. All right. Well, there you go. Gives you a pretty good idea that we're at about minus twelve. Because uh, peaks, it's a little bit goes down to about minus twelve, then goes up to about minus ten. So, um, yeah, and I'm not sure what it does between uh, 3.2 and 6 gigahertz, but uh, uh, that's what it is there. Okay, another handy feature of the Nano VNA is it has a signal generator. So we can use it, port 1 as an output, and it says it's 0 dB. It doesn't say 0 dBm, it just says 0 dB. Let's see what, what dBm 0 dB is. Uh, so, focus over here. Um, so we're outputting minus 4.6 dBm, and then you can adjust it from there. You can go down 3 dB, 6 dB, 9 dB. Um, but there you go. You can see that we have a square wave. Let me set it to a, a 100 megahertz. And there's there's the square wave, right? And then let me set this frequency to let's say three gigahertz, way up here. And we're getting 2.75 dBm, so pretty healthy. Okay, well that's my review of the Nano VNA Dash F V3 six gigahertz. Um, uh, links down below if you want to get one of these things. Um, if you want to learn about VNAs, I have a hundred videos on VNAs. So I have a playlist called Nano VNA. So if you go go to figuring out where playlists are, go to the playlist Nano VNA. I also have a playlist that's Tiny SA. So if you have the Tiny S Spectrum Analyzer, I've got about a hundred videos on that too. Um, so uh, everything about VNAs, not just this model, but lots of other different models and big expensive models, cheap models, all types of VNA stuff, measuring active things, passive things, uh, return law, measuring antennas, all kinds of VNA, uh, VNA videos available. So um, yeah, there you go. But uh, that's the review for the day.